Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play review. Today we have King Rabbit, which is a Sokoban puzzle game. So if you know what that is, it's basically where you have to position boxes and things so you can complete a level, usually on like a pressure plate or some kind of system like that when it gets more difficult. So King Rabbit's pretty interesting. It's uh, no animals, I think, were harmed in the creation of this game, even though you can end up a bloody pulp if you get caught by one of the saw blades. The game's pretty interesting though because even though it's a Sokoban, there's not many regular levels, which I wish there were. It's more, well I guess the regular levels are the tutorial levels, and there's 30 of those, and none of them are too difficult, but I'll have like the whole completed tutorial in my walkthrough with all the coins collected. And it's not super challenging, but you can see how you can actually create your own stages and like there's a bunch of community levels that are very easy to access, even the random ones. So, you can get like, I can see how people can make very challenging levels with these powers because there's a lot of different ways, there's a lot of different things that they give you to play with in the game. First off, you have the pressure plates of course, which move things back and forth. You have the boxes, which you have to put into the water and you can't move them once you put them in the water, so you gotta think about that. And then... There's a flame crown which lets you burn down trees or you can burn down boxes if you need to. And you can collect coins and coins can be used for different things and you can buy hints if you need hints in the game. But uh, there's also an ice crown which you can... Uh, I didn't see much of that. Basically you could freeze bombs with it and then you could you'd be immune to the ice throwing towers. Like there's towers that shoot things randomly which you can also push into the water to jump on which is a good. They kind of work like a box. And then there's the Poison Crown you can use to kill Grim Reaper people. And the Grim Reaper people can also be on your side from the get-go. They can be charmed and you can get them to fight the other Grim Reaper people. So there's a lot of things to do in the game. It's not your average Sokoban where you're just basically pushing boxes, which I've seen a few of those games. And they kind of get old. I wish there was like a story or something or maybe some skins to buy with your coins. I didn't see anything like that. But it's still in super early access, so maybe it'll come out with something like that. I only saw the hints for purchase, and that was worth real money. I don't really know what you use the coins for, you unlock. I'll have to look into that. But it's a pretty good game. The music's really good. I like it a lot. It's like Snowboard Kids type music, which is good. <laughs> I always like the Snowboard Kids kind of music, like the N64 super happy, twinkly music. I don't know how else to explain it than that. But overall, yeah, it's an I game. It has a lot of community levels you can access. And it does what it's supposed to really well. I'm going to check real quick, see if there is anything you can purchase. Also, you got to log in. I hate that. That you actually have to make an account with them and then log in, which kind of sucks. Let's see. Okay, with gold, you can... Well, you can buy gold. Why would I buy gold for? Uh, so I think the things that they're going to unlock to purchase with the gold is grayed out. I don't think you can do it yet, but maybe at one point. It's still in early access, even though it came out in January. So, I don't know when it's going to come out. And this I was just checking real quick to make sure I wasn't like misleading you by saying there's nothing to purchase with the gold coins, but there actually isn't. You can purchase gold coins if you want, but that seems like a waste of money. I think they're going to add in skins or something since there seems to be a shop tab. But other than that, it's a pretty advanced like Sokoban game and I could see some really challenging puzzles if you like to stress your brain out like that. But there's no story or anything like that. You can play through the 30 tutorial levels or you can play through community. But if you're not a big fan of Sokoban, you're probably not going to like this. I would give this game a 6 out of 10 because at the end of the day, it's a puzzle game that's there's a bunch of but they do like there's mechanics that make it a little bit better than your average Sokoban game and it it's like the aesthetic of it's pretty pleasing because like it all ties together with the rabbit and doing rabbit things but yeah I got there's nothing that sets it off too much where it's like an amazing game like the Friday the 13th sliding game where you're murdering people and stuff that one was pretty unique this is this is I compared to that 
but thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me. Bye!